Welcome back to the Photoshop for Architecture students video series. Now we're going to keep adding to this um, image that we've started here and try and find elements that will impart a sense of realism to this um, merging of the toy plane flying past um, the building here. Now one important clue in um, giving context and adding realism to images are shadows. So what we're going to do is that we're going to create a mask around this plane and use that to create a shadow which will position down the bottom through here. Now I'm going to create a new layer first so I go to my context menu through there go shadow layer okay now I'm going to turn off my background layer keep my layer 1 um, active which is my plane I'm going to select the background using my magic wand because that's the easiest to select. Holding my shift key down to get this little area in the middle of the wing. Brilliant. Now I'm going to reverse that selection through the pull down, select inverse. Now we've got the plane through there. So I'm going to highlight my shadow layer through there. Let's turn off the plane just for now. I'm going to select um, a colour to fill that, just a neutral colour. Um, any old colour, I'm going to choose a dark grey one over here perhaps and then I'm going to use my paint bucket fill to then just fill that region which I've created. Now I'm going to go Control D just to clear that region. I'm going to turn on my plane and my background. You'll notice that the shadow is sitting above the um, plane so I'll just move that out of the way and we'll position it down to the ground approximately through here. Now though the sort of um, we've created the shadow it's not very realistic you can see the shadow through here that you can see the background through the shadow it's not um, an opaque um, colour. Now we can very easily sort of replicate this sort of translucency by just adjusting the shadow layers uh, properties. Now through this um, uh, properties uh, context menu through here we'll change the layer property to multiply and that turns it into um, like a translucent um, layer and we're going to pull the opacity down a little bit just to lighten that shadow. Okay, there we go. Now, the next thing that's problematic with the shadow is that, you know, it looks very it's identical to the uh, plane flying above. Now, the way that the shadow will project down onto the surface, it will kind of distort and follow that ground form um, and produce a different shape of shadow. Now, it's going to be very difficult to be super accurate, but we should, um, by eye, I guess, give it a go to sort of change that appearance. Now we're going to again go through the edit pull down menu in the application. Oops, there we go. We're going to go to transform, and this time we're going to use the distort. And this way we can actually pull on any of these um, grab handles and pretty much move and reshape the shadow in whatever way. So we can pull it, stretch it in through there pull it down through there to make it look like it's following or blending into the lay of the land. Now you can do this by eye but it doesn't have to be super accurate but just by sort of modifying it and trying to sort of um, I guess mirror the way that the ground is working it gives a greater sense of reality. Now if we hit the move key asks us for an apply and there we go. There's our shadow of the plane for the flyby.